How do you perceive your losses? How do you manage a losing streak? And do you want to find out more regarding this topic? Then this video is just for you. Hello there guys and welcome back to FTMO. My name is Nelle and I'm here giving you the tools and resources to manage your trade in psychology. Did you know that one major difference between profitable traders and failed ones is how they handle their losses? Naturally, we are not programmed for being okay with losses. Loss used to equal death back then, when people used to fight with predators and that's why it can feel so hard. And society doesn't actually even teach us how to handle losses. There exist countless books preaching about how to win, how to become successful, how to firm that winning attitude and how to beat the competition. But losing? And I mean losing on anything, not just losers in trading, but the loss of control, loss of your job, loss of power, wealth, that all remains anathema. And now it's time to realize that losses are also an important part of our lives and that they can actually bring us a lot. If you think about the people who succeeded, the majority of them have gone through ups and downs. Some had to go through huge failures, which ultimately made them who they are today. Thanks to the losses, they got the emotional resilience. The losses build them up because losses teach us about ourselves. Thanks to losses, we can find out where is that space for our improvement. It is just a part of the process when we are trying to achieve something and there is always a space for improvement, always. So your losses are just as important as your wins. Losses reveal what you should do better next time. Losses show you that you cannot predict everything. Losses make you humble. We all tend to be a little bit impatient. We want to get that profit, to secure ourselves, to raise our standards. We want to travel, buy that car, that flat, the house. We want it all and we want it now. And as losses slow down the whole process, it can be pretty frustrating. Perhaps you already found your strategy. The strategy is great, really fits you. You move slowly and in a safe manner. You are very disciplined and stick with your plan. But you are still experiencing losses. And it feels awful, especially when we experience a big loss or more losses in a row. At that point, we naturally start to question ourselves. Are we good enough? Is our strategy good enough? Is our strategy good for us? Should we stick with it or not? And it can actually reveal some of our weaknesses or the flaws of that strategy and it can help us to improve it. However, this can also trigger typical trading problems such as revenge trading or vice versa, skipping trades because of the fear of losing, getting out of trades too quickly or holding onto them for too long, jumping from one strategy to another, even though we already backtested the one we use. Perhaps you even passed our FTMO challenge and verification with this strategy, then had some profitable months, but now you're experiencing this losing streak and you start to think, is that strategy still working? Well, there is no such thing as a 100% winning strategy. Have you heard the quote, no pay, no gain? If you want to reach your desired profit, try to take those losses as that pain, which is just as necessary and also natural part of the whole process. You must experience it time from time because being profitable in 100% of cases is just a huge fear, unfortunately. Be aware of your losses. Was that loss originally a well-set trade that just didn't go in your favor due to unexpected circumstances? Was it caused by your poor risk management or did you just take some random trade? 
Why did this happen? How can you improve that? What can you learn from this? With the right mindset, you will start to perceive losses as an opportunity to become even more skillful. You can use your losses to learn about yourself, to learn about markets and improve your trading and personal growth. And it is also important to know where is your edge. What amount of trades are you willing to lose per day? What percentage are you willing to lose? Include this into your trading rules and celebrate when you are able to stick with them. Reward yourself for sticking with the plan and being disciplined even after experiencing that loss. And at the end of the day, the only loss which is dangerous is a loss of hope. Loss of belief in yourself. So heads up, you must keep going and don't stop because trading is a marathon, not a sprint. And there is no easy way to succeed. How do you perceive your losses? How do you cope with them? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't done yet, hit the like and subscribe and follow FDMO on all socials. But in the meantime, I'll catch you all later. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.